Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 5 and The Flash Season 6. Today we're doing a sort of joint video where we're going to talk about a few different things. We got some photos from The Flash, we got a new suit that has been teased on Supergirl, and we got two synopsises from each individual show. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so before you watch this video and before you get into it, please be sure to check out yesterday's video. It's very vital that you watch it because we talk about, you know, how the shows have all been delayed in terms of their filming due to the COVID-19 virus out there in the world right now. So production has been halted on both The Flash and Supergirl and all the other shows well mainly all the shows on the CW and such like that so maybe you watch like Riverdale and stuff that's also been delayed and postponed for a while so I talk about The Flash and Supergirl specifically in yesterday's video and I go into the details as to what could be worrying about like when the shows return like could the schedules be completely changed could we not see the end of the season are they like shortening seasons and stuff like that so please be sure to check out that video that went up yesterday so just go click on the DC TV show and then go on videos and watch yesterday's video before you watch this but anyway let's go ahead and get into this so first off let's talk about the new suit this is coming from David Harewood who plays Martian Manhunter he posted a post the other day and this is a little sneak peek into his new suit so it's a bit different obviously it's kind of similar right I feel like you know the difference is as to why like people aren't going crazy over this is because it's the same color scheme it's very similar in design so to be honest if I didn't know it was different I don't know if I could have picked it out like it looks really similar but it is a new suit so we have to talk about it so what's different with it so the main difference you can see if you look down the image you've got a bigger belt before you know he hasn't really had this belt his thing well his costume has basically been the same since he started the show and so what you have is a larger piece of gold that is going across rather than like his small individual like sort of buckle of gold I guess that you have in his past suit and then with the red with the thing in the middle again very 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 similar design and it's very very hard to pick out like the main difference between it but I think it's the colour and obviously there is little changes here and there like if you look at the top left part of it and you look at a comparison which hopefully I'll have on the screen at some point in this video you get to see that yeah the design has changed a bit the sort of like diagonal kind of arrow is extended and it has like an extra piece of it right on like the main center bit and then obviously the main bit is very similar it goes down but then it again goes out wide but it's just more kind of rigid and it doesn't have like some like changes that the old suit used to have in terms of like is it straight or not you know with the actual piece of red but the material of the suit remains like pretty similar I can't be for certain as to if it's exactly the same or not but the texture of the chest plates look very similar and then as you go down it seems to be a bit more armored and a bit more padded but I mean it could be the exact same kind of material but it looks a bit different so there is some upgrades it's more of an upgraded suit although maybe the rest of the suit looks completely new so as of right now we're saying it's a new suit for Martian Manhunter and I'm very excited to see that and hopefully it looks really good obviously they have had some problems with Martian Manhunter in the past due to him being mainly CGI and it's really cool obviously that they get to use the costume but it's normally like the head that is a bit off because you know they have to CGI his whole face and they don't have like motion capture or anything like that so that's been a problem in the past but I think he's always looked really cool. Anyway so let's move on to the synopsis for the episode that Melissa directed so Melissa Benoist makes a directorial debut Lex proceeds to lay an intricate plan to bring Lena closer to him, defeat Leviathan's latest attack, and pit Supergirl and team against Leviathan. It is also revealed how Lex came into power after Crisis. Melissa Benoist directed this episode. This episode is episode 17 of season 5, so it's not too far away, a few weeks time, and then we're getting this. 
Obviously, I don't know how far along they got. I think they got to about episode 20. They were definitely on the finale before they were told to stop filming. So anyway, this was Melissa's first episode that she's directed. Very, very happy for her. I'm pretty sure that she announced it at Comic-Con. And, you know, it's been a while. And we've known about this for a while. And it's been very sort of exciting seeing some behind-the-scenes stuff. And I just can't wait to see this episode because, you know, it's Melissa's first time directing. She knows the show incredibly well. And if it was a film, obviously an actor taking over can work. Sometimes it doesn't work. But with a TV show, I think it's good that the actors take goes at, you know, directing like David's directed like three or four episodes now, or he's probably planning to do some more. Basically, the way the TV shows work is it's about who knows the characters best, and so they get in like guest directors and stuff to just do like one off episodes, and maybe they don't do it as successfully as someone else who consistently returns. Like Arrow has a lot of returning people, Supergirl always uses Jesse Warren, I'm pretty sure his name is. So they have a few people that know the show so well, and it's great seeing that like the lead of the show, or one of the leads of the show, directs an episode of said TV show, in this case Supergirl because they know these shows so well, better than most people. So I'm very excited, but anyway, so Lex proceeds to lay an intricate plan to bring Lena closer to him. So what he does in this is, obviously he's trying to manipulate Lena a little bit. I think maybe in this episode, Lena might realize that, you know, he's trying to get to her. And we know there is some leaks recently where we've seen Lena walking with Kara like normally, getting on a bus or something like that. So it seems maybe that they become friends again and maybe this is due to Lex. And so they try to defeat Leviathan's latest attack. So Leviathan is attacking once again and they try to pit Supergirl and team against Leviathan. Obviously for Lex's own needs but he doesn't want to do it like exactly himself. And so we also find out how Lex came into power after Crisis so I'm guessing that's some flashbacks. So I'm excited for this episode, I wouldn't expect too much Melissa in this episode because she obviously directed it, but nevertheless I'm still really really excited. So we're not going to do the synopsis for The Flash, but we're going to go over some of these photos for the exorcism of Nash Wells. So in these photos, in the first one you get to see a look at Barry with reverse flash and Barry basically slams him to this like wall or ledge or something like that. and. You know, he's taken over Nash, obviously the title of the episode is The Exorcism of Nash Wells. They're going to try and get Reverse Flash out of his body, and so that's why he is confronting him. And then in the next shot you got Barry in the Time Sphere, so it seems like they are doing some time travel in regards to how they're going to stop Reverse Flash, and I think that's very interesting to see that they are doing this. Also we see in the Time Sphere, reverse flash in Nash Wells' body, so is he time traveling? Like what the fuck is going on? I don't know what is going on, but I'm super intrigued because he's in there. Like did they willingly let him go in? I don't think that's the case, because if you look at the next photo, you got Cisco pointing a gun in the same place and it looks like he's probably pointing the gun at Nash. So it seems at some point in this episode, he actually escapes his cell and he goes to the time sphere and then Barry has to chase him after. It seems like that's what's happening, and yeah. So let's move on to the next photo. We've got Barry, he's leaning against this, like, kind of railing, and he seems to be a little bit confused. So something's going on. I think this is definitely in regards to Reverse Flash. Then we got this photo of the Flash. I think it's pretty cool. It's in this place. I'm not sure what it is, like a sort of lab or something like that. And you've got, like, Caitlyn, and Caitlyn's facing off against this, like, new kind of villain. I don't know who it is. And so yeah, that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.